What we have here is a 2018 Chevy Tahoe command unit that we built for the West Amwell Fire Company. This vehicle has sound off signals blueprint electrical system with the latest 3.0 software. This vehicle has the Inlink OBD2 reader which reads all the vehicle system through a CAN bus data which requires no splicing of the vehicle's factory electrical system to get any type of signal such as brake, turn, door, park. Looking at the front of the vehicle, we have a Centina PB450L with sound off signal end forces in the grill. The push pumper has the full headlight wrap with the end forces mounted to the side of the push pumper and sound off signal end powers on the side of the bumper. Also in the grill, we have sound off signal end powers all the lights in the front of this vehicle have the white scene override for front takedown, left alley, right alley, and rear scene. You can see we've got the sound off 100N speakers mounted to the front of the push bumper. We have sound off signal and powers on the front bumper along with sound off signal intersectors underneath the mirror. These also have the white override. And then we have sound off signal dual deck grills in the rear side window. We have the new sound off signal and power light bar. We also have installed a Kuzmal solar panel to charge the auxiliary battery. Now taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have the sound off signal chimsel bracket with eight sound off signal stud mount M powers. These lights are in tricolor, so we have red and blue warning, amber for arrow stick, and white for scene reverse. Taking a look at the tail lights, we've installed an LED hideaway from sound off signal in it. Then we've also spliced into the parking light wires and we are flashing it with blueprint. It still retains all the factory functions that you would get out of the parking lights, but now you're just using it for additional warning. Down below, we've installed sound off signal stud mount M powers. These are also in tricolor. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've installed a custom made command cabinet that we designed for this customer. It's got a SCBA gear pullout on 600 pound drawer slides. It's got a spot for their gear, SCBA, any hand tools, and also has a spot for accountability on the side of the drawer. Up top we've got uh, their radio installed, their Knox box, flashlight charger, and we have some room for any additional radios at a later date that they may want to add. What we've installed here is a file drawer. These are also on our 600 pound drawer slides. They are on Acuride 9308 drawer slides that lock out and lock in. So there's no latches to have to worry about failing. The bottom command drawer features our backdraft backlit command board. And it also features our command radio system, which allows you to move the radios out when you open up the drawer, so they're easily accessible for reading identifiers and seeing uh, what channel you're on. With the backdraft command board in the upright position, we have about 15 different angles that we can adjust this for, for different writing angles. You write on this with a dry erase marker, and it has lighting underneath it that provides optimal scene lighting in dark conditions. And then to release it, you just pull up and lay it back down, and you're able to close the door. Now taking a look at the vehicle, we are in drive. 
So what this does is the vehicle is no longer in park, so the flashing white is now flashing. We've changed the pattern in the light bar and the grill to provide a little bit extra warning. We've also added white flashing to underneath the mirror. And you can get a better look at the pattern of the light bar getting sped up a little bit. Along with the lights that are mounted on the back of the vehicle, some of them have been sped up. What we've mounted to the hatch is a set of M-Power stud mounts in red. These are programmed through Blueprint to only come on when the rear hatch is open and the rear warning lights are active. Now we're simulating the white scene feature of the vehicle. This is also for reverse. And you can see we've got pretty good coverage of the white scene lighting. We've got the chimsel, the rear hideaways, and the rear lower bumper mounted stud mount M powers. Now we're simulating if the vehicle is turning or applying the brakes. This shuts off the flashing hideaway and the flashing parking light so that another vehicle behind you can see that you're either turning, braking for slowing down, and it's an additional safety feature that we build into each vehicle now with Blueprint. Taking a look at the center console of this vehicle, this is one of our custom consoles sprayed in tough coat. We've got a mount for their tablet. We've got their radio cut in along with some USB charging ports. We've got the blueprint controller along with a scanner, cup holders, and a three inch pocket.